Good morning, good morning. Um, I don't know if anyone else is having a day like I am, where it's like everything is trying to make me go boom. It, it started with getting stuck behind school buses, red lights, coming into work, hearing complaints about the other person, having to mull over problems that aren't created by me. And it, it's like everything is trying to provoke me to just lash out. So if you're having a day like this, I encourage you to just do what we do, breathe and woosah, because it's almost like there's a test in the air. I don't know how it, it works exactly, but you know, when you're trying to level up in life, if, if you can't keep your cool, you're never going to be a leader. You're never going to be somebody that can handle problems that um, they're kind of small and you can blow them up to make them big. Because believe me, I could have been behind the school bus going, go, just why would you go? I could have completely ruined my morning before I ever even got to work, lashed out on customers. I mean, it just, the possibilities are endless. So when it comes to it, you've also heard me talk about people doing black magic and people that are affecting my energy and things like that. Um, it's not to say that people aren't, but the way that you can push back from these situations is very simply keep your cool. I know it can be hard. Believe me, I know it can be hard. But um, you don't have to give in to putting someone in their place. That's your ego trying to present itself to say, hey, you're going to do it this way and it's, it's the only option and I don't care what you choose. And actually my coworkers like that, that they believe that they can act however they want. They can say whatever they want. They can be rude, not be personable, um, be very standoffish and hard to speak to. But when you work in a customer service position, only thing you have to offer is hospitality. And I keep trying to tell this guy this, he's young, he's only 24, and these are life lessons, but he doesn't want to hear them, especially from a female. And it's funny that a lot of guys are still arrogant and stuck in their mindset that women are less than not going to go off on that tirade because there's no point because there's that imbalance in life right so a lot of times um it's hard because we don't want to be the snitches we don't want to be the people that have to go and feel like tattletales but when it comes down to it when it's all falling on my shoulders what do i do i take the next step and i go to the person above the one that's creating the problems and the drama because it's not mine <laughs> but also in that sense like i started this whole conversation was to remember to just breathe and keep your cool because there are moments in life where you're um you're being poked at like i said when you're trying to level up in life and be in that leadership role how are you going to handle petty adversary and then how would you continue to move forward because if you're not able to handle it and you're just lashing out, acting like um, you are the almighty and no one can tell you otherwise, that means when you get to the top, you will abuse your power. So you have to learn to humble yourself. And honestly, all these situations have allowed me to learn to humble myself and realize the people around me and what they actually bring to my life. And it's funny, I left earlier and I thought I was gonna be late and I will say it's because keeping my cool and just, it is what it is. It's going to be what it's going to be, right? That, that kind of helped change the, the situation in the day. So if you're going through a hard time, I just want to encourage you to remember to take the time, say you're grateful for what you have in your life. Even if it is something that's like poking at you to make you feel like you're about to fail, you're about to lose everything, um, make you want to explode, lash out on people, because it's so easy to give in to that negative side to ourselves. And that negative side kind of starts coming in more and more and more as we're trying to almost change sides, you know, to go from negative to positive. And it can seem overwhelming. It does at times, especially when 
you allow yourself to lash out. That's where that guilt comes from. It's the afterthought. Rather than you feel those emotions coming at you and then you're like, no, 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 no. Not today. And I had to tell myself that. Mm -mm, not today. We are not doing this today. Hold on one second. Sorry. So, not today. Just remind yourself that each day is a new opportunity to adjust the way you're going to react to certain aspects of your life because when you're reacting you're giving power to the situation that doesn't mean okay I keep keeping my mouth shut right no I have to open my mouth to kind of get the situation under control because if the situation gets out of control then that's more and more being inflicted upon me to where I'm having to handle somebody else's mishaps that's idiotic in a way especially when I'm not the power of authority i don't have seniority it's more so the person in charge needs to be the one to step up and say oh, okay i need to handle this differently so when you see that something in your life is going out of control and you can't do anything about it find the person that can make sure you open up to them and it's just like as kids we were taught if you have problems go to the person that is the authority whether it's your teacher or the principal <clears throat> your parents whatever it is in some battles you cannot fight on your own and I, I understand this especially as kids we couldn't step in there and be like oh I got a problem with this teacher no we'd have to tell our parents and our parents would come in and try to adjust the situation for us and it's just like me going to the owner of the company I work for and saying hey things are getting out of control here and I don't want to deal with it because like I said, I'm not creating the drama in the situation. So just keep in mind, you will be tested. Things can get hard. Things will push you to see what you're made of. And I just wanna remind you that you're made of strength, love and light and to start shining that on the darkness around you to kind of um, say, hey, I see you and I'm not gonna continue to allow you to function in your ego and do what you're doing because it's making a lot of people uncomfortable and angry. So hopefully there was something in that message for you. <clears throat> I'm gonna try to keep boosting my mood and staying positive and at least going, ah. <laughs> keep breathing, you know? So sending you love and light, peace out and talk to you later, bye.